talk about the killer of the Flower Moon movie, which was three hours and 27 minutes long with previews. It's really like two hours. <laughs> but uh, another good documentary type of movie, um, I will say. Um, it was another great documentary. Oppenheimer was fantastic. This movie was fantastic. Um very informative i am one of those people who loves docu-series documentaries learning a lot of people say why do you know so much you know i just like to absorb knowledge and you know when i was real quick when i was growing up <clears throat> my mom and her her first husband used to quiz us on knowledgeable things and then i used to have to watch all this not these documentaries when i was with them we didn't know a word we had to look it up so naturally that's just what we did you know what i'm saying play scramble you know learn watch all these movies i remember they first opened the charles Wright, uh charles h Wright museum in detroit we went down to that we used to go to the african festival when it was free downtown detroit stuff like that so and then i would be with my uh my grandmother and they would be watching like Shaka Zulu and, and those the old John Wayne movies. And a lot of them had a lot of knowledgeable gems in there. Obviously, Shaka Zulu did. But this, this movie, man, this movie was fantastic, man. It was it 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 was it was it was it was, it was deep. It was treacherous. Robert De Niro, Brendan Fraser was in it towards the end. He gained some weight out here. Brendan out here eating good. Um. Obviously, uh, what was that? Uh, was that Leo Leonardo DiCaprio? I think was in it. And in the beginning of the movie, he talked about how they wanted to do this film the right way. Remember, guys in Egypt, it was a bunch of complaints about how they was having black people play, uh, having white people play black people. You know, uh, that it was complaints about that. In this movie, before the movie started, they let you know that they work with the Indian tribe, the Osage tribe in Osage, Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma, Osage, Oklahoma, to make sure they got it right. You know, they wanted to make sure they got this story right. And boy, it really make you think. Now, I'm going to just give you the premise of the movie. This is open information in the 1920s. And what basically happened was... was okay you had uh jewish um you had jewish uh uh a man who was the sheriff of the town played by robert de niro so what he wanted to do was he want, he basically told his son his, his nephew i think it was who was played by i think leo DiCaprio. DiCaprio. hopefully i get it right get them matt damon leo dicaprio and the other one mixed up but he basically got out the army and he basically, you know, it's, you know, he came back to Osage, Oklahoma. He told him that, you know, his money was going to run out because in Osage County, they started finding black liquid, liquid gold, excuse me, oil. So in order to finesse them out of their, you know, oil, they would try to destroy their bloodline and inherit their money. So he was set up, man, sweetest day in Detroit, man. Why well, Texas Roll House on 10000 I love it, bro. It's cheap. But, uh, so they would try to destroy their, uh, bloodline and take their money and inherit their money. He got to one poor person that he wanted to, uh, he asked to, to, to delete in the movie. He wanted some, him to delete somebody for him. And I get to that part where he basically adopted his wife's, um, kids after he killed her, he adopted them cause he fled. He adopted them or tried to adopt them and then kill them so he can inherit the birthright to their oil and their land and all their riches, all right? And before he did that, they caught him before, I, I, I presume before he killed the, killed the children and adopted and killed them, um, right? And, you know, he basically set his nephew up, you know, the heel guy, the one played by Robert De Niro, to get with a family, to get with this girl and her family. Now, he ended up actually liking the girl and stuff, so he really didn't have no problem with it. He actually liked her. Right, and um, he started picking her up before his uncle found out. He, oh yeah, you know she loaded. We need to get some of that money. You need to marry her, have some children, 
So when we knock them off, you know, all the money come back to you and you and they're going to come back to me. So he married the lady. They had children and they started knocking their family off. Um, the mother was already sick. The, the wife was sick with diabetes. Diabetes was sweeping, sweeping through them like a mud. So remember I said she had diabetes, the wife. The mother ended up dying. Then they uh, they capped they capped the sister. You know, that's the guy that I told you that adopt that adopt tried to adopt the kids, didn't kill them. They killed he killed the sister for the Robert De Niro character. I was pulling on strings of sheriff, right? Then the younger sister they blew her house up with explosives. So um, Leo DiCaprio's wife said, "You know what? Let's uh, I'm going down to D.C. to ask the FBI to step in." Now, usually, the government really don't have any, you know, say-so, you know, when you go to Indian Reservation Ground, but they basically gave them the right to do so because they, was, they wasn't they was just killing their family. They was killing all of the Osage uh, Native Americans, right? They was killing all of them so they can, so they can get the right to their oil and stuff and all their resources in their land. They had a very plentiful land that was given to them, right? Um... And they was just knocking them off. So it got to the point where I, I you know, I figured they should have did something a, a lot earlier. You know, they was knocking guys off for insurance money. He, I mean, this dude, Robert De Niro character was cold blooded, you know? And, you know, make a long story short, the FBI came down there and they started investigating. It didn't take them long. They got one guy that they did dirty, that they had set up to do some murders and do some crimes. You know, he told, because he had life in prison, he said, you know, you only gave me a dollar fifty. You know what I'm saying? Talking to, you know, uh Leo DiCaprio character, you know. So So, you know, he told, and then Leo DiCaprio told, his character told, then the next character told, it all fell back on Robert De Niro. Now Robert De Niro was trying to get, you know, Leo DiCaprio character not to tell, but his younger daughter ended up dying. And he figured, you know what, man, I need to be there for my family. So I'm going to go ahead and flip and be a federal informant. Everybody starts snitching in this movie. All right. So he ended up telling. You know, he wasn't going to tell. He talked to my, he was on tell. He talked to my telling. Then he ended up telling. All right. But part of like X and a family out, he was giving the wife insulin but they was giving him drugs uh, a drug that go with the insulin because insulin just came out they was giving drug a drug that go in the insulin to slowly kill her so he was giving his wife this drug killing her off now he ended up taking a stand and um he beat all the you know he beat some charges whatever he ended up taking a stand because he cooperated and the wife ended up confronting him and you know in the back room after he took the stand and say what would you give me because the wife ended up going to the hospital getting better and she noticed she they pretty much told her that he was poisoning her and that was the De Niro's character playing the whole time he pulling on strings and he lied to her and she basically and he all he had to say was this if he was gonna lie all he had to say is you know they just was giving me this and that this is what I was giving you but he lied and she ended up divorcing him. He, I think he went to jail for her attempted murder. Don't quote me on that part. But I think he went to jail for attempted murder. He ended up getting out. Uh, Robert De Niro uh, character who pulled all the strings. He ended up getting pardoned because he was a, a, a he was a tied in politician. So they end up getting him off. You know, I don't even know if this, I ain't been here so long. I don't even know. This ain't the main interest at all. I'm going to have to walk all the way around. But they end up getting him off. You know? Or maybe it is. But they end up getting him off. So he end up getting pardoned. And then, you know, Leo DiCaprio's character, he end up getting pardoned. So down the line, everybody got pardoned. The wife, who family they tried to kill off, they end up, you know, she end up passing away. So yeah, she ended up passing away in 1937, but she did get remarried. But it just show you how wicked this country is and how they stole the wealth. And you just think about, they just did that to the Native Americans. What they done to black people, what they done to other people of this country who built this country, who showed them how to survive in this country. 
that was that's that it was a crazy story. I, I I would say you should take everybody to see it. Young black kids, young Native American, white kids, people need to see how treacherous and this is and they probably didn't even put the most treacherous stuff in there. This is how crazy it really is. And they and and uh, they did black people even worse. If you can imagine anything worse than that. They took their bloodline and their money and their resources, and the people who pulled the string still got out. The people who executed, this is how crazy you is. You marry a girl that you like. Your uncle tell you to marry her, but you really wanted to marry her. You liked her, right? And you slowly killing her. You killing your wife who gave you three or four children. And you constantly giving her that poison. And you y'all constantly paying people and then not only was they doing that when they was burying these indians with their with their jewelry on and stuff and they precious you know uh heirlooms and stuff they would open the cat he would leo the Car caprio character would open the casket up and steal they and steal their jewelry and stuff they literally raped these people blind literally literally it is a very people say i can't sit through three hours i sat there didn't pee didn't do nothing it was that engaging the movie theater it was only one. When, when I got my ticket, it was only one ticket left. It was very engaging. It was a very sad story. It was very sad. And that's just one part of what happened to those people, to uh, many people in this country. And when they tell you, oh, this was over 100 years ago, 200 years ago, shut up and stop crying, rebuild wealth, do it. A How can we? When our bloodline has been destroyed, our resources have been destroyed, it's been stolen. Every time we get up, they flip the board over. And you ever been to Indian Reservation ground now? It's not good. It's some of the worst land ever. They just looked up and had a very plentiful land. So I ain't going to speak too much on it, man. I, I would say I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, maybe almost, I, you know, I said 7.5. It could have been a little bit more action. But it was more mystery. I say about seven. I, Oppenheimer was like a nine, nine out of ten, nine and a half. It's like a seven, eight, seven, five, eight. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere in there. Um, that's just to call it a seven point seven out of ten. Amazing movie, very informative, cringe worthy. Uh, gonna make you feel uncomfortable, but man, it just lets you know the dirty secrets that's in this country is wild, man. So I appreciate y'all. Check out my movie review playlist, man. Uh, stay safe. Uh, hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.